Hi there. We're still working on Highway Tag Africa, and I saw this instance right here where we have a road crossing a river without a bridge, and that is called a ford. So I thought I would show you how to map that. The first thing you do, we're doing this in JASM, by the way, and the first thing you do is you load the data to see if somebody's already mapped this correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and download the data. And I can see that, no, nobody's mapped this yet. It's pretty important to map waterways, especially when roads cross waterways without bridges, so that if somebody's trying to use this map, they can have an idea that maybe depending upon the season, they might have to cross some water. And that might affect how they take the trip. So this, there's no waterway. This is a, a small stream, and it's probably intermittent. Uh, depends on the season. So I can sort of tell if I zoom in, this imagery changes probably to a different time of year. And now I don't really see this waterway at all. But when I'm zoomed out, I can definitely see there's a waterway here. I checked the date on the imagery, and this imagery is newer than the zoomed in imagery. And they're about four months apart. So it's definitely possible that this is just an intermittent stream. So we're going to have to, the proper way to mark where a road crosses a waterway without a bridge is called a ford. And I'm going to show you the way that we typically map those. In looking at this, I can sort of see that there is, and you can see, there's a, there's a stretch here where it looks like it's kind of muddy in this whole area. So I'm going to map this in the suggested way. And the suggested way is exactly the same way you would map a bridge. So this is going to be exactly like mapping a bridge. It's just going to get different tags, but the same principle is going to apply. And the first thing that I do when I map a bridge is I section off a small section so that I end up with a small piece of road. And I'm going to make it essentially the same size as where this is muddy, where it looks to me like this gets muddy depending on the weather or the season. So this is a, a fair a fair stretch. I mean, it's not nothing. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to map in this waterway, but I'm only going to map in this portion as it applies to where it crosses the road. And fords, because this is the road and the water meeting, they share a node. So I'm going to make sure, normally if this were a bridge, I would not have the waterway share a node with the road. But because this is a ford, they literally do intersect. So I'm going to put a node for the waterway right on the actual road itself. And then I'm just going to kind of carry on here and map a little bit further. Just so something, just so people can see something when they look at this road when they're planning out a route. Um, this is already selected, so I'm going to go ahead and add some tags. I'm going to say waterway. Oops. I'm going to say waterway, I'm going to turn off the caps lock, I'm going to say waterway is stream. The other thing is I know that this is intermittent because I just happen to see um, two different times of the year. So I'm going to say intermittent equals yes. So the very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find, I, this is the small segment that I created, and I'm going to separate this segment from the rest of the road. And you do that by selecting the road and then selecting the nodes at each end of the segment. And selecting the road. And then you come up to Tools and you say Split Way. And so now I have a segment that's just this big. And you leave all of the existing tags. So I'm just going to add a tag. And I'm going to add the Ford tag. And it's Ford equals yes. So I'm going to add the Ford tag. And you can actually go ahead and you can also put that on this node because this node is a Ford. So I'm going to put Ford equals yes on that individual node as well. So this is labeled Ford equals yes. The stream is yes, is it labeled as intermittent, and this is done. At this point, I would upload my changes and this would be done. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one additional thing. Because I only mapped in a segment of this stream and I know that the stream continues on, on the end, on each end of the stream, I add a fix me tag. I say fix me continue. 
That way, if somebody's looking at this, they can see that this needs to be mapped further. So I'm going to add another tag, and it's fix me continue comes up. So there you go. So now I put the fix me equal continue tag on my short segment of river. And that's how you map a ford. This is essentially exactly the same way you would map a bridge if you ever mapped a bridge. The main difference being I wouldn't share a node. If this were a bridge, the waterway and the road would not share a node. And the bridge would also have a layer tag that would tell it that it's above the river. It would be layer equals one. Bridges usually go over rivers. So I would not have these intersect, and I would add a layer tag if this were a bridge. But because it's a Ford, everything is kind of together. And that's that. Thank you very much.